Hey guys, how's it going? I hope everybody is doing really well out there today. A while back, the folks over at B-Link reached out and offered to send over their SEI 12 NUC style mini PC for me to take a look at and to share with you guys. Now the device arrived at the day after Christmas and shortly thereafter, my life kind of fell apart medically speaking. So the SEI 12 sat in a box doing nothing for longer than I care to admit. Now, of course, during some of my downtime, I was curious about the device, so I decided to take it out of the box and take a look around it. Now, aesthetically, I really like the understated look of the device. It's simple, there's branding on it that isn't gaudy, and the I.O. is exactly where you would expect it to be. I appreciate that the air intake for the SCI-12 is on the top and that it comes with an air filter built in with the soft material top. Now that said, of course, you will have to periodically clean the dust accumulation from the top intake as well as the side exhaust. Now, while I was dealing with my downtime situation in January and February, I did decide to put the device to use while I was recovering and doing that sort of thing. So I installed Tiny11 on it and started doing some folding at home with the device. And even with all 16 cores running at nearly 100% for days on end, it was barely audible while sitting just a few feet away from me. Once I was able to dedicate some time to actually testing it, I have to say that I'm pretty impressed what the SEI-12 is capable of. Let's talk about the specs of the device. It's got an Intel Core i7-12650H processor with 10 cores and 16 threads with a max turbo frequency of 4.7 gigahertz on the CPU and 1.4 gigahertz on the Intel UHD integrated graphics. As I mentioned, the CPU has 16 cores. That's six performance cores with multi-threading and four efficiency cores without multi-threading. And this setup seems to give the device a great balance of power and efficiency from doing everything from daily computing to maybe even a bit of gaming. Now, before we jump into the performance numbers, it is important to know that this processor is kind of power hungry when comparing it to something like the N100 but we are talking about a different class of processor here. Now the i7-12650H is going to run anywhere between 35 and 115 watts, depending on the workload. So that's something you may want to keep in mind if you're trying to build a very low power, say home lab, or you're trying to be uh, frugal with your energy use. Um, just know that again, this is a different class of processor than say the N100. And again, is going to use more power than one of those other devices. So the SE12 that was sent to me uh, is spec with 32 gigs of DDR4, 3200 megahertz RAM. So you've got plenty of overhead for running programs, whether it's in Windows or maybe in your favorite hypervisor. Again, if you're throwing this in a home lab. Now the unit that was sent to me only came with a 500 gig NVMe drive in it, but it does have a two and a half inch SATA spot. So you can actually expand your storage as you need to for your specific use case. Now, as far as their IO is concerned, their marketing and promotional materials could do a much better job of explaining what you're getting with the SEI 12. But after doing some research, I found the following. On the front of the device, we've got one USB type C for data. We've got two USB A ports that are USB 3.2 Gen 2, as well as one three and a half millimeter audio jack that is a combo jack for headphone and microphone. On the back of the device, we'll find two USB 2.0 ports, one HDMI port, one display uh, port 1.4, a DC power jack, and an RJ45 for a one gig LAN port. The device also has Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2. As far as desktop performance is concerned, doing things like browsing the internet and watching videos, that sort of thing is non-issue with this device. It just plows through that kind of stuff like it's nothing. Now with this being a mini PC with onboard graphics and that sort of thing, the SEI 12 isn't really meant for gaming, but I wanted to run it through its paces a bit just to see what it could do. First, I ran 3D Mark Night Raid as I thought it would be an honest approach to testing its gaming capabilities. And I feel like Time Strike would have just been an unfair test to ask it to run. So the Night Raid scores came out at 13,641 as an overall score with 15,116 on the graphics and 8786 on the CPU side of things. In the estimated game performance, it said that GTA 5 should run somewhere in the neighborhood of 140 plus FPS at 1080p but I didn't really believe that. So I spun up GTA 5 and played it for a while. 
and while I didn't get anywhere near 140 FPS, I did manage a pretty respectable mid-40s, with the 1% lows being in the upper 30s. So if you're looking for a solid NUC style mini PC in the $500 range, the SEI 12 is a pretty solid option when it comes to a daily desktop setup that will nearly fit in your pocket. And if you want to pick one of these up, I will have a link in the video description where you can head over to Amazon and pick one up for yourself. So there's a pretty good chance that the SEI 12 will end up in my home lab behind me at some point, probably serving up Docker containers via Proxmox, but I would love to know from you if this is something that you would use, uh, if this is something that you would put in your own home lab or maybe buy for yourself or someone else who doesn't need a lot of computing power, but, but would definitely benefit from something like uh, this device. We'd love to know all of that in the comment section down below. Uh, again, check out the video description if you want more information about this device or different ways that you can support this channel, whether that's subscribing, liking this video, or joining Patreon for as little as a dollar a month to get ad-free access to my content when it's available. But I think with all of that said, I am going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I do want to thank you guys for spending a few minutes of your day with me today, and I'll talk to you in the next video.